Hello, everybody. Um, here uh, today, I want to address one of the burning questions that comes up with all aspiring young goldsmiths. They ask me, Master, where do granules come from? And it's a question that will inevitably come up. And I want to, you know, take these next three videos to answer that question. So let's come in here a little closer. Because basically all granules, they're not brought by the stork. They're, they start out as an ingot like this. This is a, a fresh ingot of gold that I poured. So basically the question is, how do I turn this into this? This is a fresh batch of 0.76. In other words, uh, 0.76 millimeters in diameter. In other words, three quarters of a millimeter in diameter. And here's some of the, about the smallest I make, which are less than a, uh, about a quarter of a millimeter in diameter. This is basically dust. But you'll notice that these are all pretty much the same size. When I tap them, you'll see that they form into a hexagonal matrix because they are pretty close in size. So that the question is, how do I make this this is about as much gold as it would take to make this many granules. Also, I wanted to show you these clasps that I'm working on. Come back in, come back in, come back in. So just so you get an idea of size, the granules on this clasp vary in size from uh, about 0.65 millimeters down to about 0.41 millimeters. So that's the size range in just of these finished pieces here. So it starts as an ingot, which I take over to the rolling mill. This is my rolling mill here. And basically, the uh, mill stretches, stretches the ingot out into square wire. <clears throat> so it starts out, can you see that now? So that ingot now looks square. And I continue that process until the wire is about this big round or be this size square. And then I bring this smaller wire over to the draw plate. And this is the draw plate I use to start. So I feed the wire through these progressively smaller round holes until I get to, I've got the last hole here. I'm gonna pull this wire through. This is less than a quarter of a millimeter in diameter wire. like a hair. So what I do is I take this wire. Now this ingot here that I showed you would probably make about 50 feet of wire this thick. So I've got 50 feet of wire. I take it over to a specially made cutting device. It's a wire snipping device. And you'll see it has an adjustable length here. You can see we've got a very short length. These are all snippets that I've already cut. You'll see they're all exactly the same size. The reason that it's so important to make them the same size is that sorting them by eye is practically impossible. So I'm feeding both ends of the wire at the same time. I just cut 25 granules. So in this way, I can rapidly create tens of thousands of minute, same size pieces of gold. And in the next videos, we will be going over how I take these snippets of gold and melt them into granules. Thank you for joining me, and I'll show you the next step in the next posting.